What up crew? Today we're gonna make a sign for the studio. Let's check it out. So I started out by printing off the text in the scale that was appropriate to the size of the boards. Big. The font that they use is Vonique 92, Vonique 92, and I still had to do some adjusting to the height to make them all even. The wood that I'm using are two spare boards that made up the flooring of the office. It's a regular plywood tongue and groove pattern with a walnut surface. I'm not gluing the paper to the boards, but instead taping the perimeter and then using my router to try to stay in between the lines. The walnut smelled really good when carving. Now I do have an X-Carve CNC machine, but that would be too easy and straightforward for a cool opportunity like this to hand carve the whole thing. I also wanted to test how steady my hand could actually be. Turns out it's okay. Doing this paper technique actually wasn't the best idea for keeping the depth uniform, because when I would remove the paper, even though it wasn't thicker than half a millimeter, still it would cut deeper in the middle. The difference in height isn't noticeable, and if I didn't mention it, no one would care. But for all the perfectionists out there, I'm just giving you the heads up before all those comments come in. For my defense, Eric the Commissioner wanted a hand carved piece with lots of character. So that's going to be my excuse if I ever make a mistake. Anyway, I would carve as close as I could to the line, and then come back to remove the middle bits. I'm using a 1 8 inch, 2 flute straight cutting bit, and set my speed on the DeWalt to about 4. It makes quite a mess on the left side of your body because of the way the rotation of the bit, but if you don't mind that, it's a great way to get in the zone when making. I decided to cheat a little bit on the straight lines by using this scrap MDF to give me a solid edge. It definitely helped with the speed of the routing. Then I gave it a couple coats of gold. I should have left the paper on because I wouldn't have to sand as much later, but live and learn. I'm using standard linseed oil and it really gives a nice dark shine to the walnut which helps the gold letters pop even more. These are the four logo words that the studio uses, we'll get to that in just a bit. But first I need to clean up the tongue that is on this outer edge. For that I'm using my Dremel saw. It's really compact and does a clean job. You may also notice my 3D printed clamp. I'll do a special on that in the next video. No matter what people say about PLA, it's all in the settings to keep strong prints working well. So the four words that describe the studio's culture and philosophy are meet, innovate, work, and grow. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to experiment in different 3D designs to play around with these ideas. And these are a couple of the ideas I came up with in 3D to describe kind of what I was going for. Meet would be this mesh of kind of people intermingling and meeting but ended up more looking like a waffle iron. Work is to kind of grow and show some interesting complex shapes. A quick way on how I designed this was taking half a sphere in Fusion 360 and then extruding rectangles up till they just passed the arc of the circle. They each varied in height and gave a nice look of uniformity and randomness at the same time. And grow would kind of be like this plant, but ended up looking like a sponge. 
So this may look like a waste of an idea because I was basically trying too hard to go above and beyond for just some simple words, but I would categorize it as a success because it helped me think in a different way while designing in 3D. Plus, who knows in the future when some of these shapes or ideas may be the exact thing I need to solve a problem. But in the end, we just decided to go on with the actual words um, on the circle discs, and it made more sense. I gave them a little bit of a 3D arc to it, just to make them pop a little. These are the quick prototypes, just to make sure that the 3D printing worked. It was a lot easier, and I kept with the same Vernique 92 font. Vernique 92. I'm using 20% infill on 0.2 millimeters for printing. And once everyone was happy with the design, this is what we came up with on the actual thing that we would attach to the wood. Next was finding a way to attach the sign to the wall. I'm using these spacers to give the head of the screw on the back of the board enough room to hook in and slide down into the slot. Oh yeah. They were 19 inches apart. Sorry for switching between imperial and metric. I go with whatever's easier. And then seeing how high the sign should rest. No, why I'm gluing these on after I've already attached the screws to the back is because I didn't want to damage any of the font from the top of the curved circles. This is that new Gorilla Super Glue Gel, which is really nice and doesn't drip all over the place and is much thicker. And this is the final piece. Now, the difficult part of hanging it up. Left. I got some great help from Renata, and after much trial and error... Yeah. 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 yeah? Now let me give you a little more info here on the place that made this whole thing possible. It's located in Camden, Kentish Town to be exact, in London at 61 to 63 Rochester Place, NW19JU. I've been in the downstairs part of this building for the last four years, and they just expanded to build another floor above with lots of sunroofs. It's a great co-working space with all different types of people and businesses. There's plenty of private rooms or movable hot desks for startups or established companies. Lockers are available if you want to keep your stuff overnight, and there's a premium coffee machine for espressos. I'm a tea guy myself, and they got me covered on that front.
There's also some soundproof booths where I love to do voiceovers, and unlimited free paper printing. As for 3D printing, talk to me. I want to give a big shout out, thank you to Renata for helping me hang up the sign. And if you want a free um, one day pass to the studio, check it out at Hello. Joe Makes at what? Hello? Hello at the studio. Hello at the studio.com. I'll put it in the description. Thank you so much. Quote out. Wow, I really screwed that up. It's hello at the dash studio dot London. Just mentioned Joe Makes gave you a free day. Experiencing Joe Macon. Joe <laughs> Mates. <laughs> Done. Welcome to the studio. We do a bit of work, but we do a lot of drinking also. 